Welcome to the California Stories podcast from My Wine Radio. Here at California Stories, each hour following our 15-minute music sweeps, we have cool things to do, fun places to see, and sometimes just great trivia about California. California Stories on My Wine Radio. JCB Collection has produced two new wines with a portion of the proceeds going directly to organizations that help black and underserved communities thrive in the world of wine. JCB Unity is a California Cabernet Sauvignon available at Sam's Club, and JCB Unity Reserve Napa Cabernet Sauvignon is available at the winery and through Boise Ambassadors. Both wines benefit the Association of African American Vintners and Wine Unify. The National launch follows the successful debut of a limited edition JCB Unity Napa Valley wine in the fall of 2020 that immediately sold out and helped raise $30,000 for both organizations. Love, hope, unity, diversity, and equality are the guiding principles of our JCB and Boise Collection wines, where we believe the world of wine exists to unite us across the table and beyond. Oceans separate us, wines unite us, said Boise Collection proprietor. Jean Charles Boise. We are committed to creating the most inclusive, passionate, and inspiring wine community in the world. Donations from the sales of JCB Unity Wines are expected to raise nearly $200,000 for the Association of African American Vintners and Wine Unify in 2021. Travelers now have a direct flight option between wine country and the entertainment capital of the world. This update from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Avello Airlines is launching nonstop flight service between Las Vegas and Sonoma County starting September 16th. Our expanded service at STS, Charles M. Schultz Sonoma County Airport, demonstrates Avello's community to providing the Bay Area with more choice and affordability in travel, said Avello Chairman and CEO Andrew Levy. This new route makes it easier than ever for our customers to visit the entertainment capital of the world world, Las Vegas, from the region's most convenient and relaxing point, Sonoma County. Flights between McCarran International Airport and Charles M. Schultz Sonoma County Airport start at just $39 one way. Avello Airlines is ensuring that there is once again service between these two renowned destinations, something we've been lacking for years, says Chris Jones, McCarran's spokesman, in a statement. Avello Airlines is ensuring that there is once again service between these two renowned destinations, something we've been lacking for years, says Chris Jones, McCarran's spokesperson. Whether travelers are looking for the entertainment of Las Vegas or the allure of wine country, this new nonstop service will provide the opportunity in a quick and easy manner. Larger-than-life performance actor George Weber has retired from his role as the Count of Buena Vista. WineBusiness.com says for a decade, George Weber came to work to Buena Vista as the Count, the Hungarian immigrant who pursued his dream of making great wine in America and founded the Sonoma Winery in 1857. As of this summer, Weber will spend more time in cargo shorts. At 67, Weber is retiring from his 40-hour-a-week job as the Count of Buena Vista, top hat, vest, cane, and all to slow down a tad. As the brand ambassador for Buena Vista, Weber, the Count of Buena Vista, crisscrossed the country to represent the winery at tastings, winemaker dinners, and special events. He's led virtual wine tastings through the pandemic and managed the winery's social media presence. Weber has also portrayed other historical characters depending on the special event. Buena Vista owner John Charles Boise recruited Weber in 2011, shortly after acquiring the historic winery. The interview was off the Sonoma Plaza, where Weber, a former child actor and stock trader, led walking tours portraying various historical characters. Lodi wine grape growers saw a field demonstration of the Monarch Autonomous Driver Optional Electric Tractor recently at Round Valley Ranch's Clay Station Vineyard in the Lodi AVA. The new tractor technology, designed to provide environmental, labor, and cost-saving benefits for vineyard operations, has been attracting interest through a continuing series of field demo days held since 2020 in California vineyards. Monarch's head of growth, Douglas Kolker, explained 
explain the benefits of the tractor's technology by saying the tractor is driver optional, able to operate autonomously, it can be run 24-7 to save on labor costs and overtime, and it provides reliability while improving driver safety with less time in the field. The Monarch Tractor has been in development since 2016. The Livermore-based company was founded in 2018. Its mission is to elevate farming practices to enable clean, efficient, and economically viable solutions for farmers. Current prices for two versions of one model available are $58,000 for a two-wheel drive and $68,000 for a four-wheel drive tractor. For more information, check out monarchtractor.com. Palm Springs International Airport recorded its highest passenger travel numbers for June recently, besting the previous record set two years ago, officials said. This is all according to DesertSun.com. The airport reported 129,872 passengers flew in June, which is a 23% increase from the previous record of just over 105,000 set in June of 2019. We're not just seeing a return to pre-pandemic numbers and consistent month-over-month gains in our passenger traffic. We've set a new passenger record, said Ulysses Aguirre, the airport's executive director of aviation. Additionally, the number of available flights and seats are exceeding what we saw in the summer of 2019. We originally forecasted the return to pre-pandemic numbers sometime in early 2023, but Palm Springs has already reached that and did so sooner than anticipated. Officials at the city-owned airport said that the addition of several new service routes have contributed to a rebound in air travel and that the trend is expected to continue in the fall when more airlines and service routes will begin serving Palm Springs. California's Museum of Pinball is closing for good and its collection of over 1,100 machines is going up for individual auction. ARS Technica reports this update from IGN.com. The nonprofit museum's lead tech, Chuck Casey, announced the closure recently, stating that the museum organizers were unable to arrange a move of the collection, secure a single buyer, or secure a sponsorship before a deadline. Museum organizers previously attempted to arrange a move from banning California California, about two and a half hours outside of LA, to the resort city of Palm Springs, 20 miles away. Casey added that all the museum's games would go for auction in the future at the banning location with details to come. Participants will be able to place bids online or in person. The failure to secure a single buyer will likely mean the collection will become scattered to numerous different owners. The 18 acre campus that houses the pinball collection will be turned into a cannabis farm, according to local news. For more information, check out museumofpinball.org. Forbes reports that families are choosing the celebrity enclave of Montecito, California, just east of Santa Barbara, as real estate prices reach historic highs. Since the pandemic began, young families from Seattle to Los Angeles have decided to call this seaside community of about 10,000 residents and one of the nation's wealthiest their new home. Riskin Partners Estate Group with Village Properties knows Montecito well after 17 years of racking up sales there as Montecito's top selling luxury real estate team, they've seen the market evolve to where it is today. Partner Rob Riskin drills down on the demographics. We've seen a significant demographic shift since the pandemic. The biggest change has been the increase in young families making Montecito their primary residence. Between January and July of 2020 versus the same time this year, Riskin Partners saw a 160% increase in the number of young families buying homes in Montecito. These days, many Montecito listings mention the coveted Montecito Union School District. Oprah, Rob Lowe, and Ellen DeGeneres are Montecito residents, and they are among the many celebrities who enjoy life near the coast. While the A-listers live in the gated estates with eight-figure price tags, young families often gravitate towards affordable properties that offer a similarly laid-back yet sophisticated lifestyle. Thanks for checking out the California Stories podcast from My Wine Radio. Be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss an episode. You can hear California Stories each hour following our 50-minute music sweeps at MyWineRadio.com. We'll see you next time on the California Stories podcast from My Wine Radio.